transperitoneal robotic partial nephrectomy, the patient is placed in a modified flank position. For the Da Vinci XI, four ports are again used, with the ports placed medially in a more linear configuration. Positioning for the retroperitoneal approach requires the patient to be in the full flank position and fully flexed. Port placement for the retroperitoneal approach using the Da Vinci XI involves a linear configuration using four robotic ports with approximately six centimeters between the ports. The assistant is placed anteriorly. Exposure of the renal hilum via the retroperitoneal approach involves removing the fat outside of Drioda's fascia to allow identification of landmarks and complete access to the vessels. Drioda's fascia is then entered above the psoas muscle and the renal artery is easily isolated as it is the first structure seen from the posterior approach. To demonstrate the technique of tumor resection, a 4.5 centimeter left anterior mass is excised by Dr. Buffy. Tumor excision begins by separating the tumor from the normal renal parenchyma using sharp dissection with scissors. The tumor is elevated with the surgeon's non-dominant hand and the assistant provides counter-traction by retracting the kidney in the opposite direction. As the deep margin of the tumor is encountered, the scissors are rotated to accommodate the contour of the tumor. Dr. Motri will demonstrate the technique of selective arterial clamping by applying bulldog clamps to isolated branches of the main renal artery. Indocyanin green is administered and the boundary between perfused and ischemic kidney is identified. The tumor is within the ischemic zone. A bulldog clamp is removed from the anterior artery, leaving a branch to the tumor still clamped. Upon removal of the clamp, there is more perfusion to the inferior portion of the tumor and kidney. Ultrasound is then used to delineate the margin of resection. Cautery is used to deepen the margin of resection through the cortex. The previously identified anterior branch is clamped and tumor resection is performed using selective arterial clamping. Visibility is excellent despite the majority of the kidney being perfused. The tumor is excised with an adequate margin of normal renal parenchyma. Inner renorophy is performed using a running monofilament suture to reapproximate the medullary tissues over the sinus. The suture is secured on the renal capsule with a hemolock clip. The outer renorophy is performed using interrupted vicral sutures using the sliding clip technique. These clips are secured with lapartite clips. Endocyanin green is administered to confirm complete renal perfusion after renorophy. To improve tumor localization and assist with planning of excision, 3D digital reconstruction provides accurate information regarding tumor location and vascular anatomy. The 
Arduino Hylum is isolated using the 3D model to predict vessel location and guide dissection. Note there are two veins surrounding the main renal artery corresponding to the 3D model. <laughs> Using the 3D model to predict tumor location, a posteriorly based mass is isolated from surrounding perinephric fat. The model also predicts the location of the posterior branch of the renal artery, and this is clamped in preparation for selective arterial clamping. Using the advanced techniques demonstrated in this video, the Transatlantic Robotic Surgery Study Group recently analyzed their results which included 635 patients undergoing robotic nephron sparing surgery from three centers of excellence. Mean tumor size was 3.3 centimeters and the majority of tumors were intermediate with regard to Padua and renal score. 70% of nephron sparing procedures were performed using the transperitoneal approach and vascular control was achieved by main renal artery clamping in 80% of procedures. Mean warm ischemia time for the group was 16 minutes. Complications greater than clavian grade 2 were seen in 4% of patients, and mean length of stay for the group was 3.2 days. Positive surgical margins were seen in 3.8% of patients with malignant tumors.